Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Sklar and welcome to Fertility TV. In this episode, I'm talking about your ovaries and can they regenerate? Sounds cool, doesn't it? Well, stick with me for more information. <laughs> I'm blank. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Sklar and welcome back to Fertility TV. I work with couples from all over the world with my online fertility programs, my one-on-one -on -one private fertility coaching, and locally here in San Diego at both of my clinics. And we're always talking about ovarian health and egg quality. And when we start talking about these things, invariably, you know, patients want to know, well, can we do anything about that? Today's topic is all about can your ovaries regenerate or grow new eggs? It's really fascinating, right? Well, the first thing to recognize is that we're all t we were all taught something different. We were taught that women are born with a finite amount of eggs or follicles, and as they age, that decreases. By the time you start puberty, puberty um, you've lost millions of eggs, and so on, until we hit menopause, right? Well, new research shows that this may not be the case. So new research suggests that your ovaries can actually grow new eggs, okay? How, I mean, can this really happen? Well, I'm gonna read a quote from you, for you from the actual research uh, researcher. This research suggests that the ovary is indeed a more complex and versatile organ than we have been taught or than we expected with an inherent capacity for renewal. What I take from this is the word inherent, that innately the ovary and the, ball, the body and the cells in the ovary know that it needs to regenerate, reproduce, and kind of spark new life. Okay, for me this is fascinating, really, really fascinating, because coming from an integrative, more natural perspective, we've always known that the body has this capacity, this innate capacity to regenerate, to thrive, and to um, recover. And now we're taking that whole thing where, and putting it towards the ovaries where we thought that was not the case. Now, I will say there's a lot of research that still needs to be done on this, but it's still really, really fascinating. So, for me, this really comes back to what I've spoken about to all my patients in the past, which is reproductive anti-aging. Can we actually regenerate new good quality eggs? And my answer has always been yes. Patients have always given me a little strange look when I've talked to them about this, but this is no different than any other anti-aging medicine out there. It's just directed towards the reproductive organs and the ovaries and the follicles. So if we're trying to take better care of ourselves, giving ourselves proper nutrient, nourishment, um, and, and um, living a better, healthier, less stressful life, then that's all about taking care of ourselves and reducing the stress impact on our body and look, working on the proper cellular regeneration and health. And so this is no different just because it's geared towards the ovaries in this case. So, you know, our body, I like to view it as, um, it, one, it's the only body we have, right? We've got one uh, until we die, and we better take good care of it. And so with that, we have to treat it, in my opinion, like gold. What would you do if you had gold and you knew that you needed to take care of this, and this was the only gold you'd ever get for the rest of your life? What would you do? You'd probably take really good care of it, right? You'd put it in a protective uh, case, maybe. You'd lock it up. You'd, if it needed to be fed or, or supported, you'd do those things for it, right? Our body's the same way, and we need to do the same thing for it. So the keys, which are no different than what I normally talk about, are we need to feed it properly, right? Give it the proper nutrients. We need to manage uh, the stress impact on our cells. We need to have enough sleep, and we need to give it enough nutrients in supplementation. So ideally, you can do all of this just through the first three, food, sleep, and stress management. But I find right now, especially until you get it over uh, this hump and, and create a critical mass, that we also need to provide the proper nutrients and supplementation as well. So I go through all of this information in many, many of my other videos, and I'll link to those videos in the blog post um, in the link below. But really, I want you to look at the first key thing that I mentioned, which is food. We have to stay away from all the processed food. When you look at food that you're eating, you need to ask yourself, was this the way it was intended to be eaten? Was this the way my great-grandparents would have eaten it? If the answer is no, then go find it in that source. That's the way we should be eating it. And again, manage your stress a little bit better, make more time for you, for your relationships, 
for your partner, and for overall happiness. These are gonna be the keys, I believe, to starting to support this process of ovarian regeneration and new follicles or eggs being produced in the ovaries. All right, so if you want more information on what I talked about here and the links to some of my other videos, then click on the link below in the description, which will take you to my blog post, which will share all that information with you. If you like this information, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can find out when my latest and greatest videos are coming out. Thanks so much and see you in the next video. Are you looking for more information on how to improve your fertility, tips, useful information, how-tos, words of encouragement? Then you need to be part of my community. You can sign up for my newsletter right here.